Okay, this is the water that you get from Walmart. It's using the Culligan filter, or that's the brand name of it. You can see right there. And some people may just be wondering if this water is suitable to use in fish tanks. Um, I'm, so I'm going to do a comparison. I have a TDS meter right here. And right here is water that I know zero TDS. And this is mystery right now. We're not, we're not sure what it is. It says it does um, RO. There is an RO filter in it. But everyone knows that RO isn't going to get your TDS to zero. I'm not really expecting it to be at zero. Um, as long as it's under, probably say under 25, I'd be happy putting this in my reef tank. Um, I just have soft coral, anemones, and some fish. I'm not really concerned about zero. I never really have been. And then for a freshwater tank, obviously it's fine. You would just want to put in the correct buffers and, and salt if you want to do that. Okay, so here is the meter. I don't know if you can see. It says zero. Okay. And then here's this water. It's filled up to the brim. So I have it in there all the way. And it says 15. So that's not too bad um, in comparison to tap water. I can show you that really quick if you'd like. That's not a product placement, don't worry. Okay. The TDS for our tap water here in Florida is really bad. It is too. Let's see. It's 300 according to this. So I'd say that filter does an adequate job. And I would say that you have no trouble using this water for your fish tank. I've done it for years and years and years. The only thing, I would make sure you have one of these meters and definitely check it every single time. And if it goes, you know, ab above 25, 50, you want to look, in, look, at, look into as why that's the case. Um, you definitely want to make sure there's no chlorine because that, you know, could wreak havoc on your tank. Um, nitrates and nitrites could be a problem because I know in our tap water here there are nitrites. Um, and that's about it. So, I'd say if you're not near your local fish store and you don't want to break the bank on buying an RO filter, this would be perfectly acceptable to buy water that's filtered from a machine as long as you test it first.